quick demonstration of the discourse project as it exists uh, June 21st. Uh, so what we'll do is we'll, we'll click on the on the test demo and put in a username and password. And that brings it up to the, the splash screen. And there are three basic things in, in, in the system. What we've got here is we put together a fairly uh, streamlined uh, learning management system. Um, uh, so we, we've, we've got the kinds of things that are required in a learning management system would be users, courses, and discussions in our case. So users, because I'm logged in as administrator, I see all the users, but I, I can, uh, I can uh, add a new user uh, and, you know, or, or in this case, I'm not going to add one, but I can filter them out. I only see ones that start with J or, or M, have the M in it, but, and we can look at it at anyone. And if I click on it, I can see my profile and that's the profile about me. And it's got the various information uh, about what, what my, my thing is. Uh, you can edit it and it's got the various things. Um, that you would come to expect in any kind of LMS thing, setting the role. And there are three roles that we have in, in, in the system. There's administrator, which means you can do pretty much anything. Uh, there's participant, which is uh, would typically be what most people are, which would be a, an instructor, a TA, or, or a student, or a guest. Which And the guest it would be someone that uh, can basically look, not touch. They, they can't actually write anything, but they can look through things. And, and so we put in the information so they can put a, a picture of themselves. You can upload that picture. Um, you can uh, uh, say some information about you, but not too much. Uh, put in your, your way to get hold of your Facebook, Twitter, phone number, URL, et cetera, et cetera, and update that. Okay, so that's users. And ultimately, we'll have some mechanism that automatically gets the users from the LMS system, such as Sakai or Moodle or Blackboard, things like that. Uh, but that's not implemented quite yet. Um, so courses, the second thing. So one of the things, people exist in courses. So we've made a couple courses here. You can show all the courses, all the active courses, all the courses in archive. Ar that means that you're, you're done with them. Uh, nothing actually in this whole system ever gets deleted. It, it, things get archived. So um, we look at the kind of courses we've got. And we'll look at the, that's the economics of, uh, and history of, of a cup of joe. And this is a sample course that Jenner made. Um, and it looks like it's got two instructors, uh, Mabel and Jenner himself. Uh, Glenn Bull and Joe Camel are teaching assistants. We might want to actually add some students, oddly enough. Um, so let's go back to courses. And the way you basically go through in uh, editing and adding are really the same thing. E editing just edits things that are done. You've got the basic information at the class. Classes start and stop at particular times. Um, and then, um, so these are the, are, are the students that are in there. I could add another student. Um, I don't know the names of anybody, but uh, yeah, how about the, and then they add in. And so this, this whole type of thing, typepad thing that Jenner did is, is nice. Uh, and then we could delete it, that person, and move them and change their roles. Uh, Crystal should be a variety. There. She could be a TA or an instructor. Okay, so now we've got a course. We've populated it with students, and then we will actually want to go through and add some discussions. And so, um, so in in there we we've got a variety of dis different discussions. We would edit it, and editing is the same thing as as starting a new one, except for it's pre-populated. We could put in there discussions again have have start and stop times. Uh, we set it in there, and uh, what's an interesting uh, feature of the of the discourse. Uh, design is that uh, discussions can be shared among various courses. So right now it, it's it's set up with uh, history and economics of Joe, but we could also say I want to share this with healthy eating for a while, and um, and that would be interesting and it allows uh, you know cross class uh, collaboration I think in a, in a in a, a smoother way. Okay, so so we're we're in the discussions. Uh, let's go back and look at our discussions, and now now we're going to kind of get from from this from the stuff that's um, pretty well uh, developed and 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 very clean to to a little more speculative type uh, uh, part of the system. Um, so if we click on the discussion, we'll actually go to the discussion, and this is the uh, discussion page. 
Um, basically, there are three or four parts to it, actually. There's a news feed, which shows what's, what's happening, uh, to-do to lists, uh, a, a time slider that allows me to set the, the time that I want to discuss all these things to be talking about. So yeah, I, would, I might, might only want to see the last couple hours or something or what have you of the discussion. Uh, and then th this, this is a very malleable thing. We can, we can show any of the um, uh, panels or get rid of them, make them larger or smaller as, as, as what we would like. And, that, and this is just a mocked up view of a typical uh, threaded discussion group. And now what we want to do is, is, um, is, is comment on it. Let's just say I want to comment on, on this one that, that, that uh, Ma Mabel's um, uh, discussion. So I, so I click on Say. And then what happens is, is that the, the, the background kind of slides away and, and we, we try and uh, we would want to respond to it. So I might want to comment on it uh, or, or give some feedback, you know, with agree, clarify off topic, add some media to the whole thing, you know, point to a web page, to a document, a video. Might want to draw and put something on the whiteboard or a concept map. In this case, I'll do a, a, a just a text response. And then what would happen here is, is that the, the comment that I'm commenting on would, would appear on the left and, and a little text box would show up where I could I actually comment. And when I was done, the, my comment would be in there. Um, and there'll be a similar kind of menuing system over here on the discussion that will uh, allow us to uh, you know, change the way we view discussion so we can see who we want to follow, all that kind of thing. So anyway, that's where we're at now. Love to get some, some feedback from you all about, uh, about how you think this is all, all working out. And uh, thanks for watching. Bye.